Hi guys, so Sam here. Today, uh, yeah, I'm just continuing the video for the uh, Mini 3 Pro. So we just want to set up the uh, RC Remote and the Mini 3 Pro as well. So uh, let's get started. So guys, this is the Mini 3 Pro RC Remote. You can see here the screen is integrated into it. And you have the Cine mode, you have normal, you have sports mode. This is the power button. This is for the helipad and of course. These are the joysticks and uh, this is the record button for the video. This is the camera button. These are for left and right for zooming in as well. So if you turn it over, you have a C1 and C2 button. That means it's a customizable buttons. We can use it for any kind of features which we would like to configure on these two buttons. So let's remove the joysticks from here. They are stored well in place here. And then you have the uh, charging port, then you have a micro SD card slot here and you have the host. Host is for to configure the RC controller and to make some changes from the computer itself. So as you can guys can see inside here, there's a memory card slot for the controller and that's the host port. This is for the charging. So I would suggest that you use the uh, memory card in the controller also so that in case if you lose your footage from the drone at least you know that there is a footage in the controller itself as well so these are the uh, joysticks so we just place them in keep them always securely and uh, once you are finished using it always store them here so that you never misplace right so guys uh, this is the mini 3 You guys must be noticing that the propellers are quite bigger than the Mini 2 Pro. Right. Sorry, the Mini 2. So this is how you remove the cover for the camera. You just pop it up and just remove it gently because the gimbal is too fragile. So all the packing material is here. That's for the gimbal, protect it. And as you guys know that this gimbal can shoot both in portrait and landscape. That's a plus for all the vloggers who are doing shorts and uh, TikTok as well, TikTok videos. They're going to enjoy this drone. So that's all removed. Let me remove the propeller guards. Right, so... this is the mini 3 pro that's the battery compartment here this is how the legs open so in any direction not as in mini 2 that you have to open the front legs first and then the back leg so here you can do whatever you want right so this is how you eject the battery you just press these tabs in here and then you just slide it out. So that's the battery. That's the 249 grams one. With this battery, the drone only weighs 249 grams. That's ultra light. Right. And then you have the memory card slot here. And you have the charging port as well. So let's plug it in. And for your reference, I've already charged the drone. And you have the uh, down facing sensors here. You have the front facing sensors. And this is the back facing sensors as well. For optical avoidance. So how to turn on the drone is you just press the button once and then you press it again. And as you can see, it's on three and it made a sound as well that the drone is ready. Let me place it. And uh, let's turn on the controller now as you are setting up it for the first time. So let's see how it appears. So on the controller we have all the four bars for the LED for the battery so it's for video right so guys the uh, we'll have to change the language now we'll have to put it on English it depends on which country you are in 
Mostly everybody is going to use it in English language. So I'm on English. We say next. Now it says software terms and license. So we say agree. And now it says the country and region. So as I'm in Mauritius guys, so I'm going to select Mauritius. Or let me see if Mauritius is available. Or either we'll have to select uh, South Africa. Let's see. I'm just scrolling through down. So South Africa we do have here. So guys, as you can see here, we don't have uh, Mauritius. So that means I may have to select South Africa. So we're in South Africa region. We say next. Now we'll have to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So let me just quickly connect to one of the networks here. And we select this network. It's asking for the password. So uh, it's going to enter the password. As you guys are not here, so it's I can easily enter my password. That's it. It says connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay. And that's connected. So we say next. Now it says here the time zone. So it's this being Beijing. Now to change it to plus four. So I guess we'll have to select Dubai. We say OK. And we say next. Now this is to make sure the time is correctly Dubai. No incorrect time prevent device activation. Right. So let's confirm. And now it's asking us for the uh, DJI account. So I have my DJI account. Let me just quickly enter the account and then I'll get back to you. So guys, I've already entered my credentials for the DJI account. Let's see if it connects. Okay, there's a lot of wind noise here because I'm sitting outdoors. It's wonderful to, you know, sit outdoors and shoot a video. It says activate. So let me just activate the device. It says join DGI product improvement project. Uh, let's say no for the time being. It says welcome, we start. So it's telling us how we need to. It says swipe horizontal from edge to screen to return to previous screen. Like this. Right, so we go start, and again, we just skip this tutorial, and it's loading, it's initializing resource data, it's reading, as you guys can see, yep, so that's 99% initializing resource data complete, starting DJI Fly. So guys, make sure that your software is always up to date, and uh, so that so guys, this controller does have speakers as well. And that's wonderful. It's an amazing product, it seems to be. DJI has really done a lot of efforts in creating the DJI RC remote. It says here, mobile device GPS info, device DJI device GPS info, device hardware info, and then device approximate location info. That all should be on as well. So, activate DJI device, we say agree. Check network connection and try again. So, we already has to the Wi Fi network. Next, and then activate. It says okay. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, it says recommended zone and it's green in color. So that means we will be able to fly. You can see the uh, Mini 3 Pro is here. And it's reading DJI Mini 3 Pro firmware available. That's 1065.13 MB. So it says install. So let me just go ahead and install the firmware as well. I'm just going to place the... Uh, Drone a little bit further from the sun so that it doesn't become hot. But guys, I'm sure that the minute we update the firmware on this device, 
it tends to become hot as well so it was the same problem with the DJI Mini 2 as well I'm guessing it must be the same on the DJI Mini 3 Pro as well so once it updates the firmware I'll keep you guys updated whether if it still becomes hot or not while updating the firmware so it's still downloading it seems it's still on 0% so I'm still waiting guys let me download this software version the firmware and then I'll get back to you guys so guys I'm just updating the drone now you can see updating your typing experience so guys it's uh, the aircraft is updating right now it's on 80 percent as you guys can see here firmware is updated now and the battery firmware is also updated